Hey, this is Mr. Buffington. Today we are talking about improper fractions and mixed numbers. Um, we don't call them improper because they're just not quite right. <laughs> There's a reason we call them those things, and we'll take a look at that in just a little bit. So first off, what is an improper fraction? An improper fraction, here are some examples, um, three examples and then one with a picture there. An improper fraction is an, a fraction where the numerator is larger than the denominator. Or in other words, they represent more than a whole number. So this picture here represents that we have a whole number plus an extra half. In other words, we have three halves. We have one half over here, one half making that one a whole, and then we have a third half over here. So this is an improper fraction. In each of those, we could have drawn pictures to represent them, but that's basically what an improper fraction is. A mixed number is that we can write those same exact fractions using a mixture of whole numbers and proper fractions, where the numerator is less than the denominator. So instead of writing three halves, we would write this one as one and one half, or six fifths would become one and one fifth, and twenty over three would be six and two over three. Now. There's no one proper way to do this, mixed numbers versus, um, versus improper fractions. However, what we're going to do in this lesson is practice converting from mixed numbers to improper fractions because when we're adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing with fractions, and in the future when we're talking about slope and other things like that, it's so much easier to deal with an improper fraction than to also have to worry about the number on the end of it. So we're actually going to be going from the mixed number to an improper fraction. To do this, we don't have to learn anything new with our fractions. We just have to apply what we've already learned. So six and two-thirds is very similar to saying, it's the same thing as saying six plus two-thirds. So now all we need to do is add them. So adding fractions, we know 6 is the same as saying 6 over 1. So 6 plus 2 thirds is the same as saying 6 over 1 plus 2 thirds. We're just writing it in a different way. Now to add the fractions, we know we need to get a common denominator. When we have a denominator of 1 here, we just multiply it by that second denominator. So we're going to multiply the top and bottom times 3 because this uh, this denominator over here is 3. 6 times 3 is 18, and 1 times 3 is 3. So 18 over 3 plus 2 over 3 gives us 20 over 3. Now this is one of the improper fractions and mixed numbers I showed at the beginning, that 6 and 2 thirds is the same thing as 20 over 3. Again, all we have done is that we've converted this from being 6 and 2 thirds to being 6 plus 2 thirds, made 6 into a fraction over 1, converted that into an equivalent fraction that had the common denominator as 2 thirds. You can see the, that process here. And then we add 18 plus 2, keep the denominator of 3. So go ahead and give one a try. Try this one out following those steps. We use 3 and 1 ninth. That's the same as saying 3 plus 1 ninth. Or 3 over 1 plus 1 over 9. Now we'll convert 3 over 1 to having the denominator of 9. We do that by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator times 9. 3 times 9 is 27. 1 times 9 is 9. And now we'll add 27 plus 1 is equal to 28. So 3 and 1 ninth is the same as saying 28 over 9. They're the same. Now, this process of making, finding all the way through there, can really be simplified a little bit, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But when we are simplifying, it is good to know what you're doing, and that's what this whole process shows. But if you were to continue to do this process over and over and over, you would find that you could actually save yourself a little bit of time by doing what I'm going to show you next. And yeah, let's go ahead and do that. The shortcut way to convert. The shortcut way to convert is to simply multiply the denominator of 5 times the whole number. You'll notice that in the previous questions, that's exactly what we did. We put this as being 1 over 1, and then we multiplied times the denominator. 
and then we added the numerator for the final result. So what this looks like is this. We'll take 5 times the whole number of 1, and then we'll add it to the numerator of 1. 1 times 5 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6, and we're done. Now, that way is a lot shorter, but I wanted to show you what we were doing and show you that we're not doing anything new. If you don't feel comfortable memorizing this pattern, that's OK. You can use the adding 1 plus 1 over 5. 1 is equal to 5 over 5. 5 over 5 plus 1 over 5 is 6 over 5. So you could have done it the other way as well. So now we have some practice questions. You can pause the recording, go ahead and solve using whichever method you want. And I'll go ahead and solve um, using probably the shortcut method. It'll save me a little bit of time here. So I'm going to do um, 7 times 5. I take the denominator times the whole number. 7 times 5 is 35. And then I'm going to add 6 onto that and put that whole thing over the denominator of 7. So 7 times 5 is 35. 35 plus 6 is 41 over 7. And then I'm done. Okay? So that's. That's all there is to it, really. Let's do another one. 2 and 1 fourth. Again, you can solve it either way. I'll pause my talking so you can solve it. You can pause the recording, try it out. All right. And now what you'll do, same thing I did before. I'm going to multiply times that and then add this. Kind of goes in a circle. 4 times 2 plus 1 all over, oh, sorry, I'm getting a step ahead here, all over 4. So 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. My result then is 9 over 4. All right? So these are fairly basic fractions using all numbers. I haven't used any negatives or anything. But just to try and show you, that's the process that you'll use to switch between mixed numbers and improper fractions. Improper fractions are easier to work with when you're um, doing any of those functions or operations we were talking about before. Multiply, divide, add, subtract. So if you are given a mixed number, you want to convert it into an improper fraction. Then you can multiply, divide, add, or subtract just like normal. Um, the final answer, you may want to switch back into a mixed number because honestly, it's a little bit easier to, to think of numbers when they're, when they're in a mixed number. But that's the next video. That'll be a converting from an improper fraction in back into a mixed number.